That's right. We're here with Michaela. You're with Women's March Sacramento. Tell us first about the march and the need for training. Okay, so the march is going to be this um, next Saturday, the 20th, and it starts at 10 at Southside Park. From there, we'll leave at 11 to march to the Capitol, um, where a rally will be held. Now, this is really, you said, to, to include the disenfranchised, right. particularly in women's groups, correct? Right. It's We need to, the movement is about all women, and in that, anyone who identifies as a woman, and we just really can't leave anyone behind. We can't afford to do that. Wonderful. Okay. So, Beverly, you're going to be doing that march, and you're here to participate in this training. What are your concerns? Of safety, safety of myself, safety of my 10-year-old daughter. I want to make sure that she feels comfortable um, as well as me. What have you experienced in the past that would concern you? I, not the Women's March last year, but in previous um, things when I used to be a chaperone for Planned Parenthood and things like that, things can get really escalated. And I just don't want her to be afraid. I don't want anybody to be afraid. I want this to be a really happy, empowering moment. All right. So that's where Micah comes in. Um, tell us about some of the first things that you're going to be teaching people like Beverly mm -hmm. to empower themselves. Well, all violence happens through a process of dehumanization, um, seeing people as less than human. So if someone's in your face screaming, they're dehumanizing you in that moment. Mm -hmm. And the antidote to dehumanization is empathy. So the backbone of de-escalation, a lot of the training material will come back to different processes of slowing down and empathizing so that people can calm themselves. So not so much reacting, but really taking time to respond and listen? Yeah, exactly. Seems pretty simple. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of it is actually pretty intuitive, but it helps to break it down. We have like a five-step process here. The problem is people usually start with step four and they just start responding. But if you're activated and they're activated, that's just a situation where people are still escalated and it's more like two monologues and we want to get it more to a dialogue. Wonderful. All right, great. And again, that training takes place today, 9.30 to noon, you said? To 12.30. To 12.30. 9.30 to 12.30 for women who want to come and experience this and learn the tools of de-escalization so that they can participate in this march and feel safe and be confident about it. Back to you. All right, let's see that little dancing. <laughs>